Hi, my name's Vicky and I'm a violinist in the London Mozart Players. Welcome to Chamber Tuesdays. I live in a little village outside London and I live here with my dog and my partner, Roland Palmer. Right about now, I would be performing in Stockholm, soon to be packing my bags to fly to Australia and play a Beethoven cycle and Brook violin concerto. Sadly, like a lot of my colleagues, these and many other concerts have been halted for the time being. Chamber music, whether it is in a chamber orchestra or a small handful of players, is for me the lifeline of classical music. Roland would normally be on London's West End playing Waitress the musical, if the theatres had not closed. So, we've decided to create something for you and we've incorporated our very different genres of music making. We also thought it would be fun to show you a little bit of our new lockdown routine. Please keep your eyes open for the star of the show, our dog, and please do continue to support our orchestra, the London Mozart Players. We will be back soon. Bach's two-part invention, originally written in F major for keyboard. This version was in G major to fit within the range of the violin. Next, we have two pieces we've arranged for violin and guitar. We can't spend lockdown in an English country garden without giving a nod to Edward Elgar, so we've chosen his piece, Salut d'Amour. The second piece, we imagine we are free to travel again, and we're taking you to France with Eric Satie's Je Te Thank mm -hmm. you.
Our final piece has been a challenge through a process of production. In lockdown, many musicians are having to resort to playing along to recordings of themselves. So I thought, why not play a piece written with the purpose of being performed in this way? We have chosen Steve Reich's Electric Counterpoint, originally written for 10 guitars, two basses pre-recorded and one live solo performer. We decided to arrange it for 10 violins, two bass guitars and one solo violin. It was a process of engineering as we recorded each part separately, which actually involved recording 16 different musical lines. When necessary, we used a guitar pedal to tune one of the violin parts down as it went beyond the natural range of the instrument. Steve Reich deliberately writes fade in and fade out throughout the piece rather than traditional dynamics, so we had to do all of this electronically. The final task was to perform it live with the solo part over the top of the pre-recorded tracks. So sit back, relax, and we hope you enjoy. <laughs>